The hadith in Sahih Muslim tells us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responds at every verse of Surah Al-Fatiha and He has said, I've divided the Surah into two. There are seven verses in the Surah. The first three belong to Allah, the other three belong to the human being, belong to the worshipper, and the middle one is divided exactly half. So uh, half for Allah and half for uh, the, the worshipper. How? When we say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, all praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah says, my worshipper has declared my praise. When we say Ar Rahman Ar Rahim, the most forgiving or the most beneficent, the most merciful, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Athna alayya abdi, which means my worshipper has declared my praise in a different way. I've declared my, my praise. When we say Maliki Yawmiddin, which means uh, owner of the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Majjadani abdi, my worshipper has declared my majesty, my greatness. And for my worshipper is whatever he wants. And Allah keeps on saying, for my worshipper is whatever he asks for. Right at the beginning, according to one of the narrations, Allah says, uh, I have divided Surah Al-Fatiha between myself and my worshipper into two, and for my worshipper is whatever he wants. Uh, when, when the first verse is read, again, according to one of the narrations, he says, and for my worshipper is whatever he wants. When we say, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ You alone we worship, you alone we seek help from. Allah says, this is between myself and my worshipper, and for my worshipper is whatever he's going to ask me, whatever he asks me. Imagine Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, this is between myself and my worshipper, which means him and I, or him and you, and for you is whatever you're going to ask for. What's the first thing you're going to ask for? The most powerful thing that you and I can ever ask for. And Allah has instructed us to keep repeating this in every unit of prayer. It was enough for us to ask for it once, and He tells us, fine, I've given it to you. But in order to keep reminding us to say, this is something you desperately need, and you need to work towards it. I will give it to you, but work hard to achieve it as well. That is, إِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ mustaqim Guide us to the straight path. Wow, subhanAllah. Guidance is the most important dua and prayer supplication you could ever make. That's why we are forced, we have to repeat that dua. Your salah, your prayer that is compulsory upon you five times a day, it will not be accepted unless you have read Surah Al-Fatiha in it, unless you have called out to Allah for guidance. Guide us to the straight path, O Allah. Guide us to the straight path. My brothers and sisters, let's keep on asking Allah for guidance. And it's not good enough to ask Allah for something and you're heading in a different direction. Imagine you say to someone, please take me to uh, Canada. And suddenly you find yourself catching a flight to go to Australia. I mean, where are you going? What did you ask for? When you had the chance, you were not serious about what you were asking. You, you were not desperately asking for something and seeking for it. You were actually somewhere else asking for one thing and doing another. So when you ask for guidance, be serious. You're reminded about this question that you're asking Allah or the supplication. You're reminded about it by its repetition. Every single prayer, it's being repeated. 